Hey, welcome to Jaw Harp Technique of the Week. We're going, we're going to take a second to break down different ways to make the heart pulsate. The first technique I was doing there, I was saying, cut, 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 cut. I'm not fully vocalizing, vocalizing. I'm cut, 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 concentrating on the cut noise at the back of my mouth while doing this in a rhythmic fashion. The second thing I was doing was I was snoring. I was just like I was snoring, but I'm doing it in that same rhythmic fashion. And the third technique I was doing was I was opening and closing my glottis. I was punching at inhales and exhales and then holding my breath. When we inhale and exhale, our glottis is open. When we hold our breath, hear the difference? First, I'm breathing out. The second tone, I'm doing nothing with my tongue, but just holding my breath. To make that pulsate, I'm starting at the top and I'm bringing my tone down and I'm breathing in, breathing out, holding breath. Breathing in, breathing out, holding breath. Breathing in, breathing out, holding breath. It gives me that out and in breath rhythmic style breathing pattern on top of those the, the clear bell rings of closing your glottis, of holding your breath. Here's the bell ring. That's just with me holding. That's closing the glottis. Let's just go ahead and utilize those three techniques to set up a rhythmic pulsating pattern. First, we'll start out with ka 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 ka, and then we'll start off with the snore. And then we'll start with the opening and closing of the glottis with our tone falling. Here we go. Let's kick it off. <laughs> There I started off using all three different techniques with my same rhythm, with my same pattern. I established that rhythm, went with it for a while, and then I just started to freestyle. We establish those patterns and then we throw in breaks every once in a while. You must follow a pattern to go ahead and set up your beat, to set up, to set up a, a rhythm that your audience can follow. And then you can do a, throw a little bit of improvisation within that beat to provide some, some extra interest, um, some breaks in the patterns where audiences are like, oh, I like that rhythm you're doing. And then, oh, there's a surprise in there. I wasn't expecting that, but you gotta come back to somewhat of that same rhythm. You need to keep everything in the same time. Anyways, take these techniques, practice them, utilize them into your own rhythms and your own songs, and just let these rhythms and let these techniques become a part of your own music and let your personality shine through in your music because ultimately the jaw harp is the instrument of you. It's a very personal instrument, so just let your, let your personality and let who you are shine in your music. Well, that's going to be it for jaw harp technique of the week. Like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. Harp out. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.